What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a super easy and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock fish farm. This works on 1.16 and on all other versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you pull on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. Make sure you guys watch this entire video, because if you do, you will learn how to make a fish farm that will allow you to get a bunch of fish and a bunch of great treasure items. Before we get into this video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Only21 and Craft Artist. This fish farm design is a modified and improved version of the fish farm originally created by Only21 and refined by Craft Artist. The links to both of their channels will be in the description. For this farm, all you'll need is about two stacks of solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks, however, do not use any solid blocks that can burn. One lava bucket, two water buckets, four stairs, two slabs, two signs, one hopper, one minecart with the hopper, two rails, and finally, three chests. The first step is to take some solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks you want. However, they should not be solid blocks that can catch on fire. In this case, I'm using cobblestone. First, place down seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then turn and place down another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then turn again, place down another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now just connect these two sides. Now, come over to one corner and build up another four blocks. One, two, three, four. Then extend this all the way around, just like this. In the end, you should have five block high walls. After you guys have finished making these walls, you should have a center space that is five blocks wide, five blocks long, and five blocks tall. Now, come inside. Then, I recommend that you guys create an infinite water source. So to do this, just place down two blocks over here and two over here, then place down two water buckets. This will allow you to use two water buckets to fill in all the water for this entire farm. At this point, come to one side and place water all the way across, then place water all the way across here as well. Then plug up your infinite water source and break it. By the way, you guys cannot just place water at the top like this and then drain it down. The reason why you can't do this is because that will not create water source blocks on all of the blocks in the 5x5 area. Make sure you guys fill in the water layer by layer just like I'm doing in this video. So once you've done this layer, you can use this water and use it to fill in the next layer just like this. And you're going to want to keep doing that until you get all the way to the top layer. By the way, when you place the water all the way across like this on these two sides, it should all fill in. The reason why we need to have a 5x5x5 five by five by five block area filled with water is because on 1.16, that is the minimum area that is required in order for you to have the chance to get treasure items from fishing. The next step is to come to one corner, then come to the block next to it and break it, then replace it with a chest. By the way, you guys can do this on any side. Once you have done this, crouch down and place a sign right on the chest. Now, take a water bucket and place water right over here. So aim your crosshair at this corner and place it. This will waterlog the chest. If you guys are on Minecraft Pocket Edition, I recommend that you guys turn on split controls. That way you guys can easily place down the water to waterlog the chest. The reason why we have a waterlog chest with a sign in front is because this system will cause our fishing rod to automatically retract when a fish or treasure item latches onto it. The next step is to come over here to this block, then place down a double chest. Then come over here, crouch down and place a hopper. Make sure this hopper is funneling towards this chest. The next step is to come over here, then place down two solid blocks. Then come to this side, the one block above the chest and place down another solid block. Then place down a temporary block over here. Then crouch down and place two rails. Then place down a minecart with a hopper and push it. After doing this, break this block. Then also break this rail. Might be kind of hard at first, but you should be able to eventually put your crosshair on it and then break it. Now take a sign and place it on this block. The reason why we added a sign over here is because that will prevent the lava from flowing down. The next step is to come over here, place down a temporary block, then place down two solid blocks, then break the temporary block. Also come over here and place down a slab. By doing this, we will prevent the micro or the hopper from ever moving. That way we can ensure our collection system will always work. Now, come over here and place down your lava bucket. 
By the way, guys, the reason why we added this lava is because it will prevent our fishing rod from losing durability. Also, it will cause the fishing rod to become fully retracted whenever it falls down here. The next step is to come over here, then place down a stair block. You guys can use any stair block that you want. Then place down another one in front, then place down a saw block, then another stair block. Then finally, place another stair block right over here. This will allow you to easily access the fishing point of your farm. The next step is to place three solid blocks over here. Then break these two blocks. Then take a slab and place it over here. Then break this block. The reason why we did this is because this will prevent us from accidentally walking into the lava. The next step is to obtain a bucket of cod or a bucket of salmon. If you guys are in survival mode, you guys can easily do this by searching a river or an ocean, going up to it, and just clicking it. As you guys can see there, I just caught a bucket of salmon. It doesn't matter whether you guys use salmon or cod, both will work. After you guys have obtained your bucket of salmon or cod, then place it into this water area. The reason why we do this is because this will increase the rate at which we can catch fish and treasure items. If you guys want to ensure that it never despawns, you can name it with a name tag. Now I'm going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, walk up these stairs, you get stopped by the slab, that's how you know when you're at the right spot. Then aim your crosshair at the sign and cast out your rod. It may look like it's bobbing up and down, not in the water, however that's fine. Whenever a fish or a special item latches onto it, it would automatically get dropped down. As you guys can see there, you get the XP. And don't worry guys, it may seem like the item gets burned by lava, however, the minecart with the hopper down here will absorb it and put it into this chest. Fishing with this fish farm is a lot easier and more efficient than fishing the traditional way. As you guys can see there, all you have to do is cast the rod out, then it will automatically get retracted whenever an item or a fish latches on. And by the way, the lava will prevent your rod from ever getting damaged. When you guys are using this farm, I recommend that you use a fishing rod that is enchanted with Luck of the Sea 3 and Lure 3. These enchantments will help make your farm more efficient and will give you a better chance of getting more treasure items. If you guys want to make this farm fully automatic, then you guys can use an auto clicker. However, if you guys don't use an auto clicker, it should be still really easy to get loot. Even if you guys don't use an auto clicker, this farm is still super easy and efficient. I don't use an auto clicker, and as you guys can see here, I was able to quickly get to level 14 and get a bunch of great items. I got some fish, some name tags, a bunch of other stuff, and even got some enchanted books. Before we end this video, I have an important question for all of my subscribers. Would you guys be interested in buying some JC Plays merchandise, such as t-shirts or stickers? If you guys are interested, please let me know in the comment section down below. If a lot of people are interested, then I'll consider making some merchandise in the near future. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this super easy and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock Fish Farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every other day. Thanks for watching!